These past nine weeks have been tumultuous on so many levels. Each one of us has been impacted in some way emotionally, spiritually, psychologically, socially, and financially. Nonprofits are quickly having to adjust to a new normal and are facing unprecedented challenges with depleted resources. Here for Pete's Sake Cancer Respite Foundation, we too have had no choice but to adapt quickly to this storm with two major challenges at the forefront, financial support and mission delivery. Financial support. In the past two months, we've had to cancel three of our five large major fundraising events. A dozen or more patient-driven events in various communities have been postponed. And many of our supporters have had to reprioritize their own spending because of the uncertainty in the environment. Thus, we've had a significant drop in revenue from what we had originally budgeted. And it doesn't end there. We're looking forward to next year and how to budget next year and are uncertain as to when we can even gather large groups. And we anticipate losing revenue from these signature events going forward. We've worked hard over the past few years to prepare ourselves for this economic downturn, albeit we never anticipated a situation such as this. In 2015, we launched an endowment that has been well managed by our finance committee. We do have a small reserve that helps us with, ca with cash flow, and today we closely monitor every expense to conserve capital. We were lucky to receive a PPP loan under the CARES Act and are taking steps to ensure it is forgiven bon upon depletion. And I am so proud of my colleagues who have quickly learned new skills, invested new time in research about the best technology, and have created innovative initiatives that connect our supporters while helping us fundraise. In the past two months, we have made thousands of calls to patients, to caregivers, to children who have benefited from our program. And ultimately, collectively together, our goal is to preserve our mission with financial resources being best stewards so that when brighter days come, FPS is the go-to resource for families seeking respite. Mission delivery. Our travel respite program has been challenged. We suspended all travel at this pandemic's onset, and as it be begins to return, we will focus locally on respites with travel partners capable of complying with CDC guidelines. We want to ensure that our patients and their families remain as safe as possible as they experience respite. Sadly, some of the families in our program two months ago have lost a loved one to cancer. And since travel remains in jeopardy, we have pivoted our program to provide more staycation respites for advanced stage cancer patients, for these families who will never have the opportunity to travel. We looked at making this staycation respite an entry point into our program. And this week we are partnering with nominators from the University of Penn, MD Anderson, Fox Chase Cancer Center, and the University of Maryland to pilot a program for the staycation respite. As we examine our budget going forward, we have included a substantial number of these staycation respites alongside our travel partners and our travel program. And as we adapt to this current environment, we still need to continue to explore how we can best deliver the gift of respite in a scaled environment that is both cost-effective and efficient. At our board meeting on March 11th, the week that life so drastically changed, we evaluated the possibility of a joint venture with our travel partner, Woodlock Resorts, in opening a permanent respite center for FPS families. We're going to continue to explore such a possibility and take those reasonable steps to consider the project's viability so that in the FPS of tomorrow, hundreds of families can experience transformational time together in a safe, secure respite setting. And as we move forward, we're going to continue to evaluate our mission and our operations to ensure our long-term stability as a nonprofit. We will continue to harness full transparency and stewardship we will continue to focus on best practices that made FPS the nonprofit is today. And our processed approach and our commitment to you, our stakeholders, everyone who's invested in the FP mission over the past 20 years, is to do our best possible to become that best resource for respite. We were 20 years strong this year, and we will be 20 years strong going forward. Each one of us plays a special role. Thank you for being a member of our community, Marcy.